What's up, gang? We are at Universal Studios today. This woman is relaxing and having a good time. So, technically, we're vlogged for the whole month of July. Um, but we're, we're utilizing our past as much as possible. Um, so that way we can be able to do multiple, multiple things here and there. So we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna say goodbye to our friend Shrek 40. Uh, it's gonna be Kung Fu Panda pretty soon. So um, I don't know why they're taking it down. It's like their main icon, but Shrek has been around since um, for the longest time. I, mean, I, I think Shrek's been around since Back to the Future of the Ride was still around and Terminator 2 3D. I can remember, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. So uh, we'll give a little bit of a rerun or a review, I would say a review, of what we're going to do. So uh, I don't think we're going to be able to, or I don't think we're going to be able to be there for the last and final day because the uh, final date supposedly is uh, August 13th. So August 13th will be the final official closing grounds for Shrek 40. You've been fun, but you're old. I can understand why you're going. Um, Puzzle Panda, we'll see how that goes. I guess it's going to be another simulator ride. I don't know what the, we don't know what the closing day is, but if that's really true, then the ride has obviously had its moments. So I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up guys? Say goodbye to Shrek 40. That's gonna be gone sometime in August. Um, I'm assuming the day is going to be on the 13th, but um, yeah man. It's still gonna be the same building, but who knows what they're gonna put there. Um, if it's really true that what it is that's gonna be Kung Fu Panda, I don't really know if it's going to be that. But they also took the, the picture over here for New York. I don't know why. But, I don't know. I guess it is what it is. Uh, here's SpongeBob over there. Can't the chips over here. It's not really that long of a line to get any food at all. You can even buy some chicken over here, or a, well, not chicken, but you can buy some turkey legs for $10, 10 $11 for that. Not bad. Oh, you can even buy a jumbo hot dog. Oh my gosh, man, the prices on this flux capacitor and that Mr. Fusion where you can find it for like $300 on eBay easily. Eh. Eh. You know, Universal's trying. They're trying. Like this mummy guy over here. There's a zombie, actually. Mm. I'll buy Bumblebee any day. And Evac. Oh, yeah. That's cool. How much is it? Uh, two ninety five for oh, both. Oh, really? That's not bad. Two hundred ninety five. That's not bad at all. I would still buy that if I had the money. That'll be on my display forever. And I'll do a review off of that too as well. Hey, here we go. What's going on, all you amazing, wonderful peeps that are hanging out on this channel? Um, decided to go to go to Universal Studios today. It's been all shit already. Dang. She's hungry. We're here at beautiful, wonderful Universal Studios, Hollywood, and uh, we're just kicking it, chilling it. Well, at least they left. Huh? Oh yeah, we still see Back to the Future's remains here and there. So basically, we're gonna be going on the Simpsons ride first thing. Then I think the gate A line is. A little cool. Don't move. I believe in you. I believe in you too, man. One. Go. Oh, geez. he missed already. I knew it. Anyway, let's change here. 
spinner, basically. No, it's a spinner. What? It's a spinner. Ha ha. Ha. Bitchy. Oh, what's up, man? You got one, too. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah, that one. That's cool. Uh, a lot of my friends, if you guys have heard of Geek.com, they sell these for like two to three bucks a piece. And if they're so much better. And I saw this one, and I showed my friend, he's like, oh, can you get me that? So he's coming today. I got this one. They make this, and they make them different sizes, too. Yeah, they got those ones. Uh, where, where do you download Geek app. It's, it's part of Wish.com, but it's Geek. Oh my god, they have everything and anything. The bad part is, it's straight from China. Oh. So you're gonna wait a while, but it's honestly worth it if you ask It'll me. take about two weeks And you wouldn't it believe to. the different varieties they have of these. I mean, I'm already starting a whole collection. Check that out. Spinning wheel. Let me see if I can do it. Ready? 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 Oh, <laughs> it's all good. Don't this thing it. is, of all of them, I dropped this thing seven times today. Look at it. No scratches, no dinks, no it's metal. The plastic yeah, is metal. a good, durable. Oh, no, it's plastic. Well, this, this is the only metal part and, of course, the bearing, but everything else is just a hard plastic. Well, this one also is likes Is that LED? That. I thought so, yeah. That's my next one I'm going to get. <laughs> it's relatively light, surprisingly. So, the thing is, there's so many freaking piece of crap ones out there with bearings that don't work. Man. Exactly. Yeah. I, I have an like, SNP. Especially the 7 Eleven ones. Too. I spent $50 for mine with like a ceramic bearing, and it was good. And then I spent like another $50 for another ceramic bearing. It was like the worst. In the sound stages, like 17 and 16 over here on your left. That's where we're working on uh, another season of Doctor Who. Nintendo World is looking pretty good so far. We do a lot of television More shows. Nintendo End Land. of the road here, stage 21. Nintendo That's home to the Mindy Project. So far. Hi, everybody. I'm Mindy, and welcome to the world famous Universal Studios Tram Tour. I wish I could join you, but I'm really busy shooting my show, The Mindy Project. Also, you were banned from the trams because you jumped off one and tried to hug Steven Spielberg. For your information, he loved it, okay? And Mr. Spielberg, if you're out there, leave the guy alone. He's super busy. I think we had a connection. Now one classic after another. Look at that. a big list, but you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg. We keep adding to that list all the time. Uh, Wigwag Watch, you guys can join me. Let's look for wigwags. Oh, maybe it would help if you do it a Wigwag Watch. It's the microphone can get picked up here. So I gotta make sure that we're not doing any shooting right now over here. Where we've been working on season two of The Good Place. No, the light's not on. Okay, cool. Uh, the Good Place with Ted Danson and Kristen Bell. The shoot you Oh, and by the way, by the way, over here on your right, that's Baltimore. <laughs> we're leaving the front lot where we do the indoor footage. We're going to take you through the back lot where we do the outdoor stuff, the big city stuff. The Brownstone Street scene. There's Brownstone Street on your right, just ahead of us. And check out all the scenes that shot on Brownstone Street. Hollywood-style buildings, right? Yeah, you know what Hollywood style is. Everything in this town, Hollywood style. Faith! <laughs> They're not regular buildings at all. They're facades. They're very thin. They have fronts and sides, and that's about it. They're just used for the outdoor filming. We do the indoor stuff on the sound stages. Hey, look at this just ahead. I wasn't kidding about it being Baltimore. Look, that on your left, that's where we did the opening scene. The Good morning, Baltimore scene from Hairspray Live. And we just left the wall that way. Right oh, Doc, are you up there? Isn't that great? Oh, every time you turn the corner, you're in a different area. Now we're back to the Courthouse Square, made famous by the back Yeah, and a ton of other things. We've done classic movies out here. Like, uh, oh, one of my favorites, To Kill a Mockingbird with Craig Or how about Russell or how about the future scenes from Back to the Future 2? Look at that. That's the way the year 2015 is going to look. <laughs> you believe that? The future is the past. We put a pond in there, though, for those future scenes of Back to the Future 2. 
As big as that courthouse is, that's just as fake as these other buildings. You look up in the second floor window, you can see a little sky peeking through. Not regular buildings, that's for sure. Just use them for the outdoor stuff. Courthouse Square. Great whenever you need a small town. Now what about when the script calls for a big city? Then you have to go all the way to New York. Yeah, all the way uh, just around the corner here. Hey, everyone. Tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> just like old times. Gotta love New York City. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. It's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal Rock. My battery completely died. Um, enough for in order for us to get back home. But uh, other than that, it's, it's been fun. It's been great. I hope you guys enjoyed the Universal Studio vlog. And if you have, it's been a while since the last time we've been there. Um, the park closes at 7 o'clock. We got home early. And uh, it's been fun. And it's, you know, still daylight outside the sun's still going down but still other than that uh if you enjoyed today's vlog let me know in the comments down below subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and i will see you guys real soon till then this is ddr usa i am your host have a good one be safe my name is jason and we'll see you soon bye